Hello everybody, welcome to our service today at the Sports Village Church Online. Um, it's a great blessing to have you with us and we hope you're blessed by being part of this service today. Just a few notices from me. The first one, next week, uh, Sunday the 20th of June, we will be having a service at 3 o'clock at Christ Church Pennington. Sunday the 20th of June, 3 o'clock at Christ Church Pennington, we will be meeting and having a service. So come along, it'll be great to see you. And we are taking a break from Galatians um, because at church chat last month, I asked a person, "What does it? What do you know? What it means to gaze on Jesus?" And they said no. And I said, "Right, I'll put that right." You'll have heard Martin and me use that phrase. You'll have heard Adam use it last month when he preached for us. And I thought, right, we'll put this right. We will see what it means to gaze on Jesus, how we gaze on Jesus, and what happens when we gaze on Jesus. So that'll be next week, Sunday, 3 o'clock, Christ Church, Pennington. Come along. It'll be great to see you. As you know, we have a number of other meetings through the week. Just a refresher of what they are. Tomorrow night, 7, 8, 7 p.m., excuse me, church chat. Come along and chat about church. If you've got any questions about the Christian faith, doesn't have to be about the service that we heard on Sunday, it can be about anything. Um, but if you do have questions about the service on Sunday, you can bring them too. And we just chat. It does what it says on the tent. If, you, if the conversation runs dry, we just talk about what we've done during the day. Uh, Wednesday night at 8 o'clock, we have a life group. We're looking through the first letter of John, and it's great. Um, to sing some songs, pray look at the word and on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. we have a Bible study where we look at 1 Peter um, and that's great too so if you're free for any of them come along we do it on zoom for obvious reasons um, and yeah so we, the details are all on our website and if you're not on Facebook get in touch and we'll um, send you them over Obviously, a uh, meeting at Christchurch last week, uh, next week, excuse me, people, uh, over the past week, people last week, people asked me when we'll be meeting in the Harrier building, and we don't know. Um, yes, uh, things are still difficult, things, um, obviously, are changing week to week. We expect the Prime Minister to tell us something tomorrow, um, and we... It really is a week-by-week -week basis, isn't it, at the minute? When we know, we will tell you. Um, I know it's a long slog, isn't it? I don't think anyone expected a year ago that we'd still be in this position now. Um, but we must keep going. And that's one of the themes of the reading today, actually. Keep going and we will get through this. And speaking of getting through it and being comforted, I'll read the reading before we start, and it's Psalm 23. Let's hear God's word. It's probably the most famous psalm ever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's worship God. Amen. 